Hello friends, welcome back to the Domain Tracer and in this video we are going to show you how do you restore your website. To restoration of a website, the process is very simple but here we need to make sure one thing. This video we are going to create especially for a single cPanel to a single cPanel migration. Suppose in this case you are using a cPanel from the another web hosting and you are shifted to a new web hosting. So in this case you are migrating a single cPanel to a new single cPanel. Okay. So in this case this video is specially creating to migrate a cPanel based service from one web hosting company to another web hosting company and that you can able to do very easily by following this video. Here one thing has to be make sure we are doing a migration of one entire cPanel to another new company control panel that is a C panel and here we are not doing two things first one is many C panels to one C panel migration and second one C panel to a separate separate C panel for that we need to create a separate video guide to avoid any confusion if you need a video guide on this as well just comment below we will come up with a new video for now you have to make sure one thing if in your old C panel if there is a one website it will entirely get migrated to a new website if it is a many website in a single C panel that time also you can able to migrate with the same method but you cannot able to do one single C panel to multiple C panel or multiple C panel to one C panel now you understood what we are going to cover here now we will start with the actual process how to restore a full website backup via C panel so let's get with the step by step guide now we are going to actually start the full restoration of your website means a C panel restoration and here you have to make sure one thing very carefully that the old C panel username and new C panel username should be same this is the first point and if it is not then contact your web hosting provider to change the C panel username so they can able to do that very easily and helps you to match the old cPanel username. Now the second point is the new cPanel should be a fresh one. You cannot able to do this operation on a already existing data because if you do that it might get override and your website existing as well as new both get crashed. So better to do this operation only on fresh cPanel because you are going to migrate a one C panel to another server a freshly built new C panel. So let's begin with the process. Very first log in to C panel. After that go to the file manager and upload your downloaded backup. If you don't know how to download a full backup then go to the video guide how to download a full backup available in the description of this video. Now upload the backup in your directory. So in this case we have already uploaded. Here we have to make sure to avoid any mistake create a folder called as a backup. So you will just select this file and move to the backup folder. We are going into the backup directory and very first we can right click and click on extract and click on extracts. So this way we have extracted our backup file. Now very carefully watch the next parts or you can able to do one thing first watch entire video and then start performing because if you miss something in between it might create a huge confusion. So to avoid that first watch this video. Now we extracted our files. So here it is. Make sure that here it's showing in the bold means we are in the backup files. Here we have to go to the home directory and look for the folder called as public underscore HTML. Now open this folder. Directly click on select all. Just drag it and drop to public underscore HTML and here Please do very carefully now release the key. All the files has moved to public underscore HTML. This is what the first step or first stage we have completed. Now I will click on up one level. Again I will click on up one level. Now time for mail restoration. For that I will look for the folder called as a mail. For that I will again go to the home 
dir and here you will find the mail folder double click on this and the files are here just select all the all the files and move to the mail directly or you can able to watch a video guide given in the description that how do you transfer your only mail service from one cpanel to another cpanel please watch this video if you just wanted to move your mails from one server to another server because in that video we had already explained a lot of things now we completed our second part now we are moving towards the third part and this is most critical part because here you need a programming language the reason is here we are playing with mysql database because when we talk about wordpress or any other dynamic website or dynamic application they are attached with the database so in this case we have to first restore the database this is the first part of stage number 3 and second one you can say that create the username for the database and attach with the database and give and privileges and third part is go to the particular file or a php script and update the recently created username password and database in the php file so the php script can easily run with a new configuration so let's begin with the third stage let me go up one again and here you will find the folder called as a mysql just double click on this here a lot of database files are exist so i need to copy them all and here i need to download all the files just click on select all right click and download yes here i will do this on the desktop allow yes now once downloading of this all files completed now we have to start the restoration part this is the first step for that go to the c panel and look for the option called as backup wizard you will find that in a file sections click on backup wizard then click on restore and after that you have to click on mysql databases and one by one select all the database and for the demonstration here i am going to perform only on one single database so you can able to just replicate that click on this and select the file click on upload so you can able to see that i did first part now the second part is create means here it creates the tables and database and here is the value actually need to be restored so i will click on this and click on open and finally click on upload so first we restored this now we are restoring this this way we can able to completely restore this database okay now click on upload here the restoration has been completed successfully now we are ready for the third part that is creating a username and privileges for the database we have already created a video on this the video name is php and mysql database connection so you will find the video link in the description of this video you must watch this video very carefully because in that it is already clearly explained all the factors so you can able to use that process and do a proper restoration of your website now we completed third part right now the fourth part is configure the newly created username and password with our application so in this case i will go directly to the public underscore html when we talk about wordpress we all knows that wp configurations are present in wp hyphen config.php file just right click and click on edit and edit here you can able to see that the username is already set as we have in our system secondary we have also configured this one now we just have to change the password that we set in the previous step now click on paste now paste here the new password and click on save changes similar operation you have to do with all other databases so that application directly start communicating with the database and this way we had completed the four parts then you are successfully completed your migration you can able to see that we have successfully restored our full backup from the old c panel